Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Now Craft Beer. I'm with Rooney. Hi, Hi there, Rooney. I'm fine. Uh, we, I landed yesterday in wonderful Norway. Uh, we had a few beers last night. Um, we drank some of your great beers. Yeah. Uh, but today, we're here. I'm with Rooney, who's the head brewer and owner, part owner of uh, Elijahford Microbrewery. And we're going to be brewing. What are we brewing? Yeah, we're brewing um, uh, Imperial Stout. Imperial Stout! Yeah. Excellent, excellent. That we're going to put on a cost. We're going to put no, it in cars. Whiskey, whiskey cars. Whiskey, it's going in a whiskey cask. Um, that, that's going to be absolutely fabulous. Um, so it's going to be my first barrel aged beer that um, I've collaborated with. And um, my first real kind of imperial stuff that, um, that we're brewing here. So uh, where are we starting? Uh, we are starting with the uh, milling grains now. Okay. So uh, we're going into the milling room. So we're going to go and mill that grain. Come yeah. and watch us, come and watch us mill the grain. Yeah. Okay, so here's the barrel. The barrel where the beer is going to sit for a month? Two, two months, I think. Two months? Yeah. And it, you were telling me before we, we went on air that it's a cherry whiskey cask. Yeah, there was originally a cherry on it, and uh, that's not so common to do. It's um, almost uh, all of the whiskey is on uh, bourbon barrels. Yeah, yeah. So this is a little more exclusive than uh, the bourbon barrels. Excellent. So, uh, I think it'll be good. If I had a time machine, I think I would fast forward in time to the moment where we get it out yeah. of the barrel. Exactly. Right, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. right, okay, let's. So, where we're going to go now, we're going to start milling. Yeah. So, let's have a look at some of these malts. So, what's the first malt that we're going to mill today? It's the base malt, it's uh, two row barley. You know, this, that's your, yeah, yeah, your two row barley in there. Yeah. And this we have uh, three kinds of. Uh, Come and have a look. Yeah. Crystal malt. That's a dark crystal. Yeah. So that's going to make some fruit taste as well and sweetness. And you can taste that. You can really kind of, you can eat that, and you get that kind of fruity, estery. Yeah. Caramel. Lots of caramel and sweetness. Yeah. From from the game. And we have some pale chocolate. We're gonna have some milk, milk uh, chocolate taste in it. So it's uh, the pale chocolate malts, and of course we have uh, the roasted barley. We have to have that because it's not gonna be a stout if you don't have it. So, so this is for color, yeah. This is yeah, gonna, this is gonna color. Roasted, roasted flavors. Lovely. Look at that. So, um, how do we mill? You're gonna show me how to mill today. Yeah. Yes. Put the uh, all this one. Take the bag. Just put it in. Okay. Like this. And we hope it's gonna be now. Just put your button. The wooden starts. It's often it's uh, stuck. You know. Oh, good. I'm still I'm still enjoying that sound. That malt. So essentially, what we're looking to do from the malt, we're looking to draw all of the sugars out to then turn them sugars into alcohol. Um, and of course, it does other things like colour the beer and and gives body and, and texture yeah. and, and everything. But essentially, that's what we're trying to do is extract all of that sugar. All that sugar out of the. We can malt. make it about nine nine percent alcohol. Nine percent ABV. Okay, now we have crushed the grains. We have divided the grains in two or more, <laughs> more bits. We have the shell intact to uh, when we put it in the mash tun it's gonna be be like a filter. We're gonna filter the, the, the grains and not get a stuck mash. Okay. Yeah with uh, with this. So and for, for new home brewers out there, is that just to help to release more of the more, sugar? More the sugar, is, yeah, yeah. Most of the sugar is gonna be released uh, from the small bits, you know. Okay. So, so there's the sugar in the starch. The small white bits of, of the grain. Okay, so we're going to mash in. Uh, we got some regular malt here. <laughs> Your base malt. Yeah. So we got to be careful if we not to it runs and stuff. not to lump it in. So yeah. it's. Uh, so you can just pour it in and we get a steep in the water. Okay. So 
Look at that, it smells great. Yeah. It smells fantastic. It's a loaf of bread. Yeah, absolutely. Or a four inch or something like that. So. I feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in these bags. What's happening? <laughs> so for an imperial style, we're going to need lots of malt. Lots of malt, yeah. We're going to need a lot of sugar to, to get it, it from the alcohol and the body of the beer. Hopefully okay. we use a lot of base malts and uh, not so much special malts. But, uh, where you don't get so much alcohol or fermentable sugar from the dark drinks. Okay. You do it like this. Here. Superb. Yeah. And of course, the smell of the. You get the biscuit malt in there, you get the sweetness. Yeah. Superb. So now I'm gonna seep it with water. Put okay. water over it. You can take this one. Yeah. So we're trying to make a nice, what well, we don't want, we don't want a stuff mash, do we? That's no, we don't what we're looking for. So it's a case of, um, we put a, a, a kind of a layer of water over there. So it's going to seep together through the molds. Yes. Yeah. So this stage of the brew, what we're looking to do really, we're looking to extract as much sugar as possible. Yeah. To turn all of that sugar then into alcohol. This is the stage we're at. Yeah. So uh, yeah, well, we'll carry on doing this and uh, catch us for the next stage. Okay, the next stage. We've just... Uh, just finished the uh, mashing. Yes. So now we're going to transfer the wort over to the boil kettle. Which and is then, here. Yeah. So let's take about one hour to do. Okay. So now you can see the color of the beer. What it's... Uh, what's going to be. What it could look like. Well, wow, look at this. So this is a first look then at the Imperial Stout, and as you can see, it's more or less jet black. That looks absolutely fantastic, and it, it's got a good look to it as well. I mean, it's got yeah. that lovely. You can almost it's see the mouthfeel on dark, it. It's dark, dark shot there. It's uh, very dark. And it's big and thick, and yeah. it's got good body as well. So you can you can see it kind of glugging out of the. Yeah. And the mash tun. This is really much sugar that's coming out of it now. That's fantastic, that looks great. Excellent. Okay, check these out. Magnum hops. They look fantastic, they smell fantastic. Let's get them in the brew. That's our bittering uh, edition. One hour it's going to boil now. So the magical thing about the transfer of this beer is that in this tank, as you can see, it's about 100 degrees centigrade. The, the heat of the wood. And as you come down to the heat exchanger here, the wood passes through lots of different plates and it cools the beer down over to this tank here. Yeah, we have. Uh... To, uh, Oh, I just, look at that, I just caught Rooney. 
drinking the word. That must be a damn fine imperial stuff. Yeah. You're already drinking the word. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, very, very sweet. Lots of sugar in it. So, yeah. yeah, going back to it, this heat exchanger is taking 100 degree heat over there into the heat exchanger and then over here into the fermentation vessel where it's just show sure if we can film in there but it's just 19 degrees and you've got to get it down to 19 degrees to pitch the yeast when you pitch your yeast you don't want to pitch it too high in the temperature otherwise it'll kill it and there's the yeast there oh we're going to put it in no you're going to put it in i'm going to put it in to okay let's let's do this live let's carry this on so if you just there we go you just edit it no, we'll keep rolling, we'll keep rolling, it's a live video, so, here we go. Don't take the inside. Here's the yeast. Put the whole bag in. And we get the whole bag in. The corn sands. Okay. Yeah. And that's it, that's brewing the Imperial Sam with live form microbrewery. I'd like to say a massive thank you to Ruth yeah. for brewing the beer. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. No problem, it's really pleasure. Thank you very much. Um, Camilla's not here um, to, to, at the end of the brew day. She has to go and take the children from school. But yeah. um, thank you to everyone at live form microbrewery. Um, it's been great. I cannot wait to try this beer. Cheers, guys. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's very really great. Cheers.